Well, good afternoon. Uh, we continue to uh, negotiate with the governor and the House. Uh, uh, it is respectful, which I think is uh, important. Uh, we're actually communicating, uh, uh, I think, clearly and openly as far as where we each stand. Uh, there is a fundamental difference that we're, we're trying to work through. Uh, they basically build a budget from the bottom up. In, in other words, whatever each area wants for spending that they think is important, they, they build into the budget. And then after that, they raise whatever taxes are necessary to get there, which is about $4 billion a year, not counting one care. So eight, or $12 billion over basically a four, six, $4 billion a year is approximately what it is. And so that's the, the difference between where they're at and, and where we're at, is we build a budget with the resources that we have. Uh, it happens to be a 5% increase. Uh, so that's, that's a little over $2 billion is where our budget is. And we take that number and then we work down and prioritize about what is most important for Minnesota and what is it that maybe we don't need to do or can do differently. And so uh, there are two different directions. Uh, I wish we were on the same page on that, but we're not. And so we continue to work through what is that number that we can agree on on the top. Uh, we're hoping to get that number by tonight. Uh, but regardless, we're going to keep working uh, towards the solution. That's the good news for Minnesota is we're all working together towards a solution that we think is in the best interest of Minnesota. Mr. Leader, are you expecting any numbers on budget categories or simply an overall spending number at, at the end of the day? So the question related to budget categories versus overall spending, the big numbers fit into an overall budget number. And so that's why we really think it's important that we have an overall number before we agree to any of the bigger budget numbers. That would be HHS, that would be E12 spending in particular, two really large ones. And so I, but I, I this has been some very good conversation about reform and where do we want to head and best practices and all of those are really, really good. Uh, I'm saying let's make sure we take care of the fundamentals. Don't miss the things that we must get done that all of Minnesota think we need to get done. Let's make sure we get those uh, in this, this short period of time that we have left. And then whatever else, uh, other things that we can agree to, we'll do those as well. Senator, so you go ahead and talk about details, not just overall numbers for each category. How, how deep are you going into? Uh, deeper than I thought. Uh, we've actually talked uh, in pretty in-depth about K-12 and higher ed and, some, and health and human services, but uh, in the end, I really want the chairs to do their work working with the commissioners. That is different this year. There's a lot more conversation between the chairs and their committees and the commissioners. Uh, I think both the governor, the speaker, and myself want a lot of work to be done there, and so that's how it is. Well, where's the gas tax figure into all of this? I know it's not necessarily a budget item, but I know it's going to be one of the, the hang-ups. The gas tax is not going to happen. Uh, we've, we've made it very clear that that's not where we need to be. Uh, transportation is moving forward. We have $530 million more money into transportation this two-year cycle than last, and so we have a plan going forward for that. I've also hinted that if we do some uh, roads and bridges bonding money, I'm open to that as well. And so we're open. The Senate Republicans are open. Our goal is to make sure that our roads and bridges are funded properly, that the potholes are fixed. I think that's the governor and the speaker's uh, desire as well. And so I think we'll get to the end, but we've just said gas tax is, is a, one of the few things that we've drawn a, a strong red line and say we're not going to do that. Did you say that directly to him, and what was his response? Uh, I didn't say that today or yesterday, but I have said that, yes, to, to the governor. How different does it feel in there? You're the only person who has done this before kind of in the room. It feels like deja vu. Uh, the, the, dif <laughs> the, the difference is uh, different players. Uh, governor Walsh is different from Governor Dayton. They both have different styles. They're both passionate. Uh, they both love Minnesota as much as I do, but uh, it's definitely different. And Speaker Hortman is very pragmatic, wants to try to find a way through as well. And so that's why I'm, I'm confident we'll, we'll get something done for Minnesota. But just like all the other ones in divided government, it won't be easy. Mr. Leader, on transportation, are you willing to go on a somewhat larger bonding bill than you originally had uh, talked about? There he goes, trying to negotiate for me. So <laughs> no comment. One of the things the Democrats are trying to undo is the dedication of auto-related uh, sales tax revenue to transportation. So yeah, there's we, no we, gas tax, is that off the table too? Or is that right. We, we worked very hard two years ago to provide new money for roads and bridges, and that was half the sales tax on auto parts. That's where that new money comes in now. And so to get rid of something that 
took 10 years across Republicans and Democrats disagreeing to actually get done, I think would be a big mistake to take it away. And so that's why we're fighting for it so strong for that. Nobody's been able to do it until two years ago. That's new money moving forward, and why would we take that away? All right, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.